So when someone says that they own 4th gen Ryzen 7 and RTX 2060, at least to me, 1440p gaming machine comes to mind. But can this laptop with exactly the same specs run games on 1080p high? Well, there's only one way to find out. So how about we start with the Apex Legends? Okay, okay, let's test Valorant instead. So here, we got these benchmark results on 1080p low settings. And why did I test it on low? Ask this guy. Why are you bullying me? By the way, forgot to mention the rules. 1080p high settings and 60 plus FPS for a AAA game? Pass. 1080p low and 240 FPS for an esports game? Pass. Otherwise... So, did Valorant pass? How about CS then? Well, on the benchmark map, I got these benchmark results on 1080p low settings. But the thing is, someone paid for a full 240Hz screen and can't even enjoy it on low demanding games. Moving on to Fortnite, we got this very delicious looking Spider-Man and these benchmark results on 1080p high settings. And I would have said that these benchmark results are quite mediocre, because they kinda are, but RTX cards have this feature called DLSS and when I enabled it on performance mode, oh boy, take a look at the frame right now. Still, I'd personally run this game on 1080p medium and DLSS in performance mode to get like over 120 on average, but Fortnite is not an esports game, so it gets a solid pass. Now, if you hope for seeing Red Dead Redemption 2, I have some bad news for you. It's gone. You see me chuckling, huh? So, Elden Ring. That's right, the one you saw in memes. So, apart from the initial keyboard and mouse discrimination, I quite enjoyed the tutorial, died like 5 times, and got these solid benchmark results on 1080p high settings, and yes, the game is for some reason capped at 60fps. Now, let's test, uh, Rainbow Six Siege. And you know what? It ran flawlessly, and even though people don't usually play this game on high preset, they actually should consider that because they would get these benchmark results on 1080p resolution. In Cyberpunk, I didn't expect it to run fine on 1080p high settings, but it actually kinda did. Then I enabled DLSS on balanced mode and wow. Graphics were honestly stunning and the frame rate was close to 60 all the time, so it gets a pass. And just for the fun, I enabled ray tracing on medium plus DLSS on ultra performance. Everything looked blurry, latency increased 3 times to unbearable levels, so even if these benchmark results look decent, don't even try ray tracing. Just, just don't. And at this moment, I think this laptop deserved a quick chill mode. Daddy, chill. 7 year old GTA 5. I honestly can't believe I'm saying this. So here on 1080p very high settings, I got these benchmark results. Moving on to Warzone, I had good benchmark results on 1080p high with DLSS off, but relatively high latency issues. By that I mean that there was quite a delay between my input and things happening on the screen. But with DLSS once again coming into clutch, I got these benchmark results and completely pleasurable gaming experience. After waiting like 2 to 3 business days to find the remaining 2 players to join Apex Legends, I got these benchmark results on 1080p high settings. And finally, finally, another new update, Forza 4 got outdated. So we're testing Forza Horizon 5. How did it go? Well, take a look at these benchmark results on 1080p high settings, with and without DLSS. As for synthetic benchmarks, you can see the scores on the screen. And to conclude the whole gaming experience, this laptop is clearly nope. not meant for esports games. But for productivity tasks and AAA games, I have no complaints.